This year, the Children's Hospital is celebrating a century of medical miracles. Please share with us the stories of three very special patients whose experiences at Children's span the hundred years the hospital has served our community. The dates uh, of 18, 1918, uh, are the ones that mean something to me because when I was um, nine months old, uh, Dr. Roy Forbes, who was one of the very fine early pediatricians, came rolling up to our house to, to once again uh, to take care of me. And he said, you know, uh, this, this constant crying, we've got to take care of this. My mother was frantic, and um, I think we'll just put you in the hospital and give everybody a rest. So at nine months, I became acquainted with Children's Hospital, which had just recently opened, just one year before. And then, after about 18 uh, earaches that had to be uh, surgically relieved because they were so sore, I was admitted for um, the tonsillectomy. And I remember all of that very well. My, my mother said, we will be bankrupt with one more, one more earache and we'll be bankrupt. And um, so on, in January, my father went out front and uh, dusted off the old Dodge and put up the side curtains and uh, said, we're off to children's. I knew why, but I wasn't too pleased about it. I went to Northwestern Medical School. After an internship, I wanted to be an accredited pediatrician. So I wanted to come back home. And the answer was children's. It was probably in 1944, 45. I was 18 months old. And my kidneys were not functioning. And I had uh, just returned after six months of, uh, uh, of a stay with Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And they kind of threw up their hands and said to my mother, uh, there's not much more we can do for him. His life's in God's hands, but we suggest you take him to the Children's Hospital in Denver. And we have a letter to give to you that we hope you'll take there. And what we would like you to do and uh, like children's to do is take one shot. We know of a case where a child had nephritis, glomerulo uh, nephritis, where the kidneys weren't functioning. And the child got the measles, and the high fever of the measles somehow kicked the kidneys into functioning again. And they put me in the measles ward at Children's Hospital. And lo and behold, I got the measles. And lo and behold, uh, I ended up, uh, the kidneys started functioning again. And uh, over a period of time, uh, with the great treatment and uh, care that I received at Children's Hospital. Um, I lived a very normal childhood. The kidneys continued to function and I had, um, I participated in sports. Um, I played a lot of basketball. I was a gym rat and my mother and father were always a little bit concerned about the nephritis coming back. and. Um, never really did come back. It was nothing short of uh, a miracle to, to me and to my family. The one thing that, uh, that I carried the rest of my life was uh, from that whole experience was my mother uh, constantly reminding me of the miracle that occurred in my life and that I had to do something to make sure that this world uh, was a better place after I, I leave it. So that's that's partially why I'm so committed to children's and the other institutions in this community. Well, Liam is um, our only son, and um, uh, when he was born, he was born with a rare disease and ultimately was um, children's only double transplant patient. I've actually um, had this guy since I was a baby. This is um, from the signed by all the Colorado Rockies. This is Calvin and this is Hobbs. Calvin and Hobbs. Oh, I don't know how many times I've gone down in the emergency room thinking it was the last time for him. 
and each time man they hit it they were on it they were they knew what they were doing and they stepped in and they brought them back to life um they did a lot for my family my mom mostly my mom and my dad a lot of stuff has happened so I'm still here. <laughs> He's so happy and joyful and in so many ways like this little old man, you know, because he's very wise in all these things, but then, um, you know, he gets with the kids and then you just see he's just a kid. I feel really special. And um, I actually built that whole thing by myself right there. Um, it's, it's a miracle. It's an absolute miracle that he is alive today.